Warning advertencia. Today we are going to We have here a Austrian black. How do you know it is an Austrian? You see the warning advertencia. US black doesn't have those stickers in front of the original game. This one also another Austrian black. So we will install some upgrades which are chosen by the owner. We also have a recommendation with I will also discuss it. On this video, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And ring that notification bell button so you can be updated on my next videos like this one. Okay? Thank you! Good day, fellow Blackitos! What's in the box? This will be a Austrian Black from a fellow Blackitos in the Philippines also a collector of vintage items Sir Jun, shout out to Sir Jun So this is a G21 Gentry, one of the few Austrians in the building. Hmm. This is probably <laughs> because of the old age. Look at the home. Full price. Anyway, this pistol is chambered in 45 caliber. 13 rounder, there's no mags inserted, always chamber safety check. It has a holosan red dot reflex size, solar one, and a no witness size. Last week, um, we already purchased online in our Lazada store, the G Planet Trading Store in Lazada the Matak Innovation Recall Reduction System for G21 which is 13 pounds like this one but this one is for G34 <laughs> anyway it's like this a free float system without adapter ring because this one is a Gen 3 it does not use an adapter ring on this part of the slide so it's narrow and the guide rod of the Gen 4 and Gen 5 is wider. So now we will install the Serve Trigger Connector and Spring Kit and the Matak Innovation Flat Face Trigger which gives you a shorter travel. This one is non-adjustable, also available in our Lazada store. You can search it in a G Planet Trading Shop in Lazada. So we will install this one today and the owner requested not to install it in a very soft trigger pull rate. so this one is a two pounds firing the spring we will not install this one but this one gives you a lighter trigger pull weight if you install all of the parts the four pieces parts here you will gain at least three pounds of trigger pull weight down to 2.8 2.6 as you use it gradually or more in action in the range but this is for competition setup and the owner said that the G21 is not for competition and he would like to make it as a carry or let's say a houseboy <laughs> house security but not a cabinet key so Let's start this assembly, this one. And by the way, this is a Mariner version of the G21. See? You see some corrosion of it. Oh, it's not the corrosion. It's the foam. Okay? Right? 
Okay, so ready to do that. Okay, we just need to set this aside. Warning advertencia. Okay. First, let's know about its trigger pull weight stock. Stock part one. Very, very hard pull. Uh, for those of you who wanted the Matak Innovation car glass stickers, this one is a film type. Not like this one. A direct sticker genie. So there's an acetate you need to pull this out. And the acetate will come out with the gold sticker and then you stick it on your black card glass and then remove the acetate and the gold film will remain on your glass some of those who had the free sticker who do not know how to install it okay let's try to gauge it what will it give us so then 0.5 that's usual 6 to 7.5 6 okay so let's do the averaging 7.5 and then 6 pounds stock trigger 6 pounds again for the fourth time let's see it 6 to 7.5 so around 7 6.5 this is easier to wrap because it's already been changed the recoil system single recoil system na lang natin ito so I disassemble the slide away from the frame this one is the Matak Innovation so we can run some system without adapter ring for Gen 3, 2, and 1 45 caliber 13 pounds let's remove oh too much oil inside by the way if you are a Glock owner do not put unwanted oils on this area it should be dry because as you shoot all the debris the carbon etc will go stick inside your slide in your barrel and in your frame so there are portions or places that you should appropriately put a little bit of lubrication using ballistic Okay. This is available in our G Planet and Black Hub Philippines. G Planet Trading in Lazada. The 200 ml aerosol spray type. And if you want a bigger daddy, 400 ml spray type also. You can use that on your car, your mechanical instruments, and other metal objects, and even on your pet. They say it removes like ticks and other insects on your pet they say I haven't tried it smells good okay. so we will install first the firing pin safety plunger this small baby boy that is responsible for your safety the firing pin safety plunger frame which is lighter compared to the original ones it contributes the lighter trigger pull 
with the blocks okay this one we will not install this the firing pin spring lightened one the two pounds because I also recommend not to install this one because the firing pin will be used or this will be combined to the original heavy firing pin which is around 8 grams to 8.5 grams the matak skeletonized firing pin which also in our videos in this channel have lighter weight so this is compatible with this one for competition and if you consider it for carry it is also possible but you will choose the FMJ ammo sure carry ammo it should be at least have a soft timer which are physically in color silver I will call it puti in the Philippines putting primer so those are the soft and medium soft primers the silver one And you will install the trigger connector the lower frame and the trigger spring let's keep this first okay and then you remove the slide backlight use your clock tool by pushing this one down this is the firing pin spacer sleeve. Push it down and then slide out the backplate cover. Make sure to put your thumb as up because sometimes the spring loaded bearing, this one, will pop out fast and get lost along the way open your slide so we'll just pull this a bit on this one so it will loosen the pressure that pushing this firing pin safety plant this is one of the safety of your blocks the block has three safety the firing pin safety plunger the trigger safety this one this one and your drop safety this one to your trigger housing okay. try to push this so it will fall Tractor will come out. There you go. This should not have oil. It doesn't need lubrication on this part. Later we will dry this out. Keep it dry and lubricate the proper places. Okay. So, this is the firing pin the plunger you will see the difference look at the length and the distance of the plate definitely this is lighter on your left side the very big safety plunger which is the light one so we will insert it here we just press it in but before that I want to buy this one this is a napkin or tissue not a feminine napkin okay table napkin I mean I get rid of the oil so that the spring can lock with the notch or the inner notch of this 
the clutch holds the spring. Have you heard the tick? Repeat it again. You heard a ticking sound. There you go, I hope you heard it. So how would you know if it is already well installed? So it doesn't fall with the gravity. If it falls, you repeat it again, again, and again. So you, you can try this way or the other way around. Just to make sure it holds. So when you turn it back, get rid of the oil. Carbon. By the way, the Ballistol Universal Oil serves as a cleaner and a lubricant. Multi-purpose oil. Safe and non-toxic. Using it since 2013. It's the first time I had a block. Also some of my 1911 which I have not used in competition. But maybe the creation of it. There you go, it's dried up. We'll remove this one. Original. Okay. And install the new firing pin safety plant. Okay, that's not luck. So it should luck. There you go. So we will install it back in this orientation. Okay, let's end the one first. The pulverized foam, bro, June. Replace it. It gathers here in your slide. Too much oil. You just need to oil the railing area. This one. This area on. Extra coordinate point. You can insert the firing pin. The firing pin also has oil. It should not have oil. Because it will invite debris and carbon. Insert it in the fire in panel. Then push the fire in space of heat. Slide your back leg. Push the spring loaded bearing, the color brown. And then, like that. Push it, push it some more. Okay. Like that. Put the barrel first. Too much oil again. So the oil part in the barrel must be below on this part only. On this part. Not all of it. This area, this area. See, all blocks have this scratch because the barrel tilts as you shoot like that so this one is the scratch area don't worry if you're not swollen it will not be swollen <laughs> so as you see there is no adaptering so direct mount Triple spring so, Apply some pressure Land it on that position 
and push again for the lower part. The second stairway of the body. So when you insert it, it will not jump with your plane. So we will pull out the trigger mechanism. We first remove the blind block pin, which is the Gen 3, and the trigger pin. Gen 4, 3, 2, 1 frames have that. Those who have a high capacity 9mm, 40 caliber, 45, 10mm, 3 by 7 double stacker blocks have those. And the trigger housing pin trigger mechanism with ejector look at the ejector it's curved the 9mm is straight the 40 caliber is a bit bended and this one is totally bent or in angle pull out remove the trigger with trigger bar the trigger bar let's see if it is correctly inserted the trigger spring in S form and correct it is in S form I always I like this that to be careful with installing this one because this is the culprit when your block or your beloved G's go in burst mode monster mode as you engage the trigger, two to four bullets comes out. Okay. If this one is not properly installed in S form and in this manner, oh, should be in S form, not in number two form. So it's like a number two. This one is like a letter S. Okay. S form number two form the ejector pointed eastward so that is your reference and you should see the trigger connector this one is the trigger connector so in S form not like that in S form no not this way around this is not in S form because your trigger housing is pointed westward or in left uh, point it to the right and then S4 oh, it jumps it's a light a light and kicking so that's it S4 okay let's push 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 this there we go And then replace with the set pro connector which is included in the package and then do not forget to put some lubricant so let's put the Lighten trigger spring, the upgraded one. Put it there and like that. Then we will install the Matak Innovation CNC flat face trigger for G21 Gen 4 3 to 1. Non adjustable but shorter trigger travel. forgot to mark it we will install this one and show you the significant reduction of the distance travel as a preset okay we will install this one we will not yet install this and i will put a 
take as a marking. So let's go. Let's align it first. Sometimes I use the rubber mallet, but I'm telling you, I'm an expert inserting on holes. I think I should turn off the lights. I get inserted. Okay. I told you, I'm good at it. So instead of using the metal part of the punch tool, and scratch your coating just use this handle the polymer one and then push it in so do not always be hard with others you should be so with others just be friendly alright and that bigger housing thing it is also a polymer. Again, do not be hard with others. Be kind. Be soft. The polymer is soft and the handle is soft. So soft to soft. Okay. So let's see the travel. I just want to see the original distance. So let's see later if the Matak Innovations trigger will have a shorter travel compared to the original. But there you go. So I mark the trigger shoot tip which is in that position okay not the tip of the trigger safety okay. there go. that's it so we will not remove that as a mark and then we will install the Upgraded trigger. By the way, if you purchase in Blackhawk Philippines, which we always do since 2014, you get a free high quality black carbon ray stickers, a black hub sticker, and a black safe action sticker and the black coffee mug, the undisputed one since 2014 
take note of the leaf spring it should be under the time block pin that's the proper orientation and then the trigger pin this time it should be aligned so you need to play with this it can go inside here you cannot see that I'll be coming And the trigger, okay. okay. Either you can lubricate the springs and even the motor. So this slowly press the aerosol button. So that means it will not flat in the springs. And this one. The fire and the Lubricate this part of the trigger bar on the locking block. The barrel will have multiple contacts with this area. And then Do you hear me? <laughs> hey, go. So let us see the trigger placement. See? The upgraded trigger, the Matak Innovations from Blackout Philippines and the Planet Trading have the default short travel already. So that's it. Let's try it. This trigger, the travel, fast trigger return. As you see, we did not change the firing pin spring. So it has a stock firing pin spring which is 6 pounds up to 6.5 pounds. Compared, so this one, the 2 pounds which will give you 3 pounds or less bigger than weight. So this is a choosing of the owner of the pistol. So if you will change it with 2 pounds, 
it will be softer. If you change it with 4 pounds, it will give you around 3.5, 3.8 to 4.0 pounds of trigger pull weight. As you see in my previous videos in unboxing our G17, upgrading the G19, you could see that weight. So this one, we will try to measure the trigger pull weight. And we will compare it to the original reading, which was the 7.56 pounds a while ago. Averaging. So let's try. Six point five. Five point five. Five point six, see how soft it is. In the convenient enough compared to the stock seventeen pounds recoil spring weight. Five point five from five point five to 6.5 average is around 6 5.5 so there's no big change on the reading of the scale but when you feel the trigger pull weight it is much more crispier and the reset is good and the take up is good and you can feel the wall but it is a wall so there will be no more long travel pressing on your first trigger pull attempt so as you engage with the trigger like that see how short it is so, that's it and I hope you learn something from this video with regards to the installation of the CNC flat face triggers and the set with the light on our so you can view our videos tab in our youtube channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and ring that notification bell button for you to be updated on our next videos like this one so enjoy your day in the range fellow gakitos thank you for Trusting Black Hub Philippines, your online confidence since 2014. Shout out, Boss Jun. Ready for pickup. Oh, sorry. This will not be pickup. This will be delivered on your place at your convenience. That's Black Hub. <laughs>